Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome to a brand new mod pack. That's right, folks. We are going to start playing Feed the Beast Revelation. Just came out today. Hope you guys are as excited about this as I am because I got to tell you, I have been waiting for this mod pack for a while. Now, you remember how excited I was when Horizons hit. Horizons is good. But Horizons has a bunch of mods in it that I don't fully understand. <laughs> um, but this mod pack here, this is the biggest mod pack Feed the Beast has ever released. Uh, it's available on both the Curse, Twitch, whatever launcher you want to call it, as well as the uh, classic Feed the Beast launcher. Um, and so any one of you can go out there and get this mod pack right now. You guys can play along with me. It's going to be great. Um, I am not opening this up to a server. This is going to be a single player series. Um, now I may host it on a server for myself just so that automations keep running and stuff like that. But for right now, it is going to be a single player world. So let's go ahead and get in here and see what we can do. I went in here and played around a little bit. But we're going to create a brand new world. So let's do that. Uh, we're going to call it YouTube just so that I know what world it is. <laughs> so you, YouTube, uh, let's play. Cool. Uh, and then we're going to have, let's see, we got survival. Uh, what other things do we need in here? More game options. So world type is default. Um, we got super flat, no. Large biomes, no. Amplified, no. Customized. Lost cities, eh. No, not going to do it. World type realistic, okay. I think we're just going to stick with world type default. Um, we could do large biomes. Nah, we'll just do... We'll just do default. How about that? Uh, cheats are off. Um, should be okay with that. Don't see any reason why we'd need cheats. Don't think we're going to need the bonus chest. Uh, generate structures, but of course. Uh, so I think we're good. What do we want to call the seed? How about we call the seed... Um, how about we call the seed RB Plays uh, Revelations. How about that? RB plays revelations. So that way, if you guys want to spawn in a world just like this, you'll know exactly. If you do this seed, you should get the same world that I get. So let's just say a done. And let's. It did save that, right? World options? Yes. So let's create the new world and let's see what we get. So I'm super excited about this because it does have some good mods in it that I've uh, that I've played with in the past, like environmental tech and RF tools and stuff like that. It also has some mods in here that I've never done anything with, with uh, like uh, Pam's Harvest Craft and Cooking for Blockheads. Uh, so this may be something that, uh, this may be a mod pack that we have a lot of fun with. Try some things that we've never tried before, but also get back to some of the things that that uh, that this channel is rooted in. This channel has always been rooted in modded Minecraft. I mean, for crying out loud, my first series was a modded series. Uh, I've sprinkled in some vanilla along the way, but it's always been modded, right? That's why you guys come and see me. You guys come around to check out the modded stuff. So I hope you enjoy this series. Um, I am certainly going to enjoy making it. I certainly think that's going to be the case anyway. So here we go. This is taking forever to load. Aha, here we go. New recipes unlocked. Check your recipe book. Don't want to. Not ready. Oh, wait, what's this? We got, so we got some stone here right off the top. This is going to take a minute to log in or to, to render in, it looks like. Wow, that was super slow. Wow, what do we got going on here? Got stuff here. Cool. This may not be a bad place to build, to, to, to start off with. We got water close by. We got some stone that we can do some stuff with. We got trees so that we can... Uh, uh, so that we can get the proverbial first uh, first little things. Check our inventory, obviously. Done. Okay. Um, over here, we got some trees. Oh, we got berry bushes. Cool. Very nice. Let's pick up. Let's pick up on some of those. Pick, get the berries, because uh, that could be an early source of food. Early game, right? It won't be able to sustain us for a long time, but at least it's an early source of food. Um, I guess now. Oh, we got to fix this. New mod pack. Got to customize the skin, so let's do that real quick. Uh, options, uh, skin settings, skin customization, jacket off, right sleeve, right arm, main hand, keep it that way, there, there, and there. Don't have a cape, but we'll leave that on anyway, just in case we ever get one. And now, let's punch some wood. We'll get bloody fists. Uh, we got wood, cool. Uh, why are we not getting, why are we not getting advancements for this? Or achievements, or whatever they're called now. But we do need to get some stuff going on. We need to get some basic tools, right? Get a crafting bench. Uh, not sure what all is in this mod pack. Ooh, fast leaf decay. That's a good... Excuse me. That's a good thing. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these. We'll go ahead and plant these. 
elsewhere. I think I want to keep the main part of the base right over here, at least for now. I don't know what these what these towers are, but uh, seems like a, a logical place. Wow, blocks are super loud. Blocks are very very loud. Let's see if we can fix that. Blocks options, music and sound blocks. Let's turn blocks down to oh I don't know. Let's do forty and see if that makes a difference. Cool. Yeah, it's a little better. Maybe. Let me know if that's too loud for you guys. It's kind of loud in my ear holes, but not super bad. Ah, there's some stuff. We got a hops from Binnie's. We got uh, immersive engineering stuff. We got a raspberry bush from Natura and tomato seeds from Rustic. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, all right. Anyway, let's go ahead and get ourselves these uh, first couple of things. Let's get ourselves a crafting bench. And while we're at the crafting bench, let's get the crafting station. So that means that uh, Tinkers is in here. That's good. Uh, go ahead and put you right there. Uh, we're going to need some basic tools. Uh, so first things first, let's get some more of these. Let's get some of these. And let's get some of these. Go ahead and get a pickaxe. Let's go and see if we can get some stone. Uh-oh. There we go. There we go. We're good. Uh, let's go see if we can get some stone. Oh, is there anything in these? I'm kind of afraid. Ooh, stone Age. Stuff in here? No, I think it's just stone. No. We might be able to just live in this thing. Yeah, we probably could. It's three deep. So if we go right here, break this out right here. Yeah. We could totally just live in this, couldn't we? I think we might do that. It's a ready-made structure for us, so that's cool. I see off there to the south, there's a slime island. We may have to go visit that so that we can get some slime stuff going. We're going to need a slime tree, probably, because that'll be a good thing. And get this one more piece out of here. I think I've got enough wood. Might as well go grab this table. Let's grab this table and we'll put that in there. Cool. More stuff. We got more stuff. Is that Batania? That is Batania. So this has got Batania in it. That's cool. Uh, do do do. Put that in there. Uh, put this right here. Nope, not that. Put this right here. And you. And uh, you know what? Actually, let's do it like this. To save floor space, let's just go ahead and do this. Boom. There we go. So now we can have that live there. We're gonna need some sheep. Um. I've got cobblestone. I could make a sword. Let's do that. Nope, not that. There we go. Make a sword. Put that there. Put that there. Let's see if we can find some sheep. Um, actually, mini map. Uh, close. Ooh, that was really loud too. Um, so customize settings. Let's go to settings. Let's go here. And then down here, mobs are going to be small icons or large icons. Let's do small icons on that map. And let's go here and let's do. Oh, uh oh, going to go. Uh oh, oh, there we go. So small icons on that one as well. So now I don't see I see mobs there. What's going on? Mobs, small icons, set two, F one, small icons, large icons, small dots. Hmm. Let's do large icons. See what that looks like. Still don't see any mob heads on there. Hmm. Well, okay. I guess we're just going to have to go and look for some sheep. Because I want to make a bed. Bed first things first. Bed is the main thing that we've got to get. Oh, you know what else we need? We need to know where our base is. <laughs> sure thing. Sure enough. We do this. We're going to end up lost. Uh, so let's go ahead right here and do here. Let's set a waypoint and make this new waypoint our base of operations and save it close it there we go okay uh there's that slime island cool so where can we find some sheep 
really wanting to find some sheep. Over here? Don't. I don't see any animals over that way. There is something over there. There's a big red dot on my mini map, and I don't know what that is. I'm kind of afraid to go look, but we're going to go do it anyway. Is it here? Might be in there. No, it's not in there. Oh, it's. There's something over here. You see how that's different? Uh, and maybe not. I don't know. Oh, we went past it. Here, underground. Hmm. Okay, well, that's not. That's fine. Any sheep down there? No. Any sheep over here? Not that I can see. Oh, more berries. Give me those. Give me those. Thank you. Uh, give me these. Cool. So yeah, lots of uh, lots of cool stuff in this mod pack. That should be a Pam's Harvest Craft kind of a thing, right? Uh, rustic. Actually, additions coffee beans. That's good. Open computers manual. We already had that though, I think. Okay, so I guess I'm going to walk this way and see if I can find a sheep real quick, and I will come back to you as soon as I know something. Aha! We have found a sheep. So, one, two, give me, give me, your, give me your wool. Must have it. Hey, do we have enough wool? I have three pieces of wool, that's good. Because something was just shooting at me, I don't know what it was. Something was really, really mean, and I don't like it. It was over there. Uh, is that a dog? That's a dog. We might want the dog. Uh, anyway, let's build ourselves another crafting bench because we left the one behind. Uh, but if we do this, we can get ourselves a bed. Boom, boom. Me bed, please. Please bed. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we're good. So three birch planks, like so. Three of these, like so. Bed. Ha ha. All the comforts of home, except we're not at home. Okay, give me this back. Uh, we do have some lamb chops. That's cool. Because food was going to be an issue. I fell off of three cliffs. And fortunately I didn't die. But uh, yeah, fell off of three cliffs. Um, I do want to see... Dog? No. I do want to see what else is over here. There's berry bushes over here. That are dying. Actually, that's just a tree. Uh, there's a berry bush here. So, gimme. Thanks. Uh, I want to eat all the berries. Cool. Uh, now, what kind of stuff should we get going on first when it comes to this mod pack? I'm thinking food would be a good thing, obviously. Uh, that's from Rustic. I don't know anything about Rustic, but we're going to grab some stuff from it and see what happens with it. Um, oh, there is some definite lag issues on this. Uh, this is a hill cherry tree. Okay. Uh, what else? What else is out here? I don't want to spend too much time out here, although I do have a bed so I can sleep the night away, which is going to be awesome. I uh, won't have to worry about mobs or anything, which is cool. Um, so yeah, what kind of stuff do we want to get into first? There's 104 pages of mods. Heard something. Maybe I didn't. So there's 104 pages of mods, and um, you know we've got some very cool basic stuff, like actually additions to stuff that we probably could get going in fairly soon. Is uh, There's a mod that's out there. Is Cyclic in here? No, Cyclic is not in here, okay. Because that's some very early game progression type stuff. Uh, there's also Industrial Foregoing. That's in here. Uh, so Industrial Foregoing is totally a thing that we could probably get going on to start with. To get started with that, you need to have a, uh, a tree fluid extractor. But to get that, you got to have iron, you got to have a furnace. That might be something for us to get going on because that would give us some very cool early game automation type stuff. Um, oh, let's put this down because uh, oh, uh, death, will, death will come very soon if we don't. So we got another advancement, Sweet Dreams. That's cool. So, how are we going to progress in this mod pack? Well, that's a good question, because I hadn't really thought about that too much. Um, but I was thinking... Wow, another lag spike. Uh, but I was thinking possibly... Where is... There it is. Uh, I was thinking possibly that we could try to play this kind of direwolf style. A lot of you have made comments in the past that that say that my gameplay style and that my voice and everything kind of reminds you of uh, of Direwolf 20. So I think we might play this kind of Direwolf style, see how it goes. I don't I don't know. Not saying that I want to be Direwolf or anything, but uh, but definitely could be a could be a good way to go about progressing through these mods and and kind of learning things together. Is this something that we want? It's from actually additions, so it's probably going to give us rice. Um yeah, uh, tomato seeds. 
and ooh, we do have some rice seeds so we can plant some rice planting rice would be a good thing because rice will give you uh, a way to make paper it also gives you a way to make uh, slime balls i think it also gives you a way to make other uh, foodstuffs like rice bread so that's a possibility that might be something that we want to get into i hear chickens i see chickens on the map but i don't see the actual chickens i hear them where are you chickens I see you, and I hear you, but I don't physically see you. Hmm. We'll have to come back out looking for them. Anyway, let's head back for the base, and we'll kind of look at what we've got uh, what we got going on. We might try to make a furnace real quick, because we're going to need to cook up some food, because I'm going to get hungry very, very soon. Uh, what's this? What is this here? This is from Pam's Harvest Craft. Break. What do we get? Ooh, we're going to have to do something about these lag spikes. Because these lag spikes are freezing the game like crazy. So we got some okra, uh, water chestnuts, spice leaves. What else? Uh, I think that might be it from Pam's. Okay. That's cool. I still want to know what all of these, these blocks are out here, you know? Those blocks are something interesting. I, I'm sure that they've... I'm sure they're there for a reason. I mean, I think they're there for a reason. I don't really know. Ooh, I hear that. I hear you. I don't know where you went. I hear you. Uh, you can totally break. Okay. Uh, let's go up this way and over this way and maybe up this way. I don't really know. Go. This will work. This will totally work. This will get me somewhere, right? Oh, to the top of the hill at least. There we go. Um, over here is where we want to be. Cool. We made it back to the base. What is this? That's from Pam's also. So let's break that. That should give us more cool stuff that we can plant. We got those three raspberry bushes still. We got artichokes, uh, chili peppers, and barley. Barley should be a good thing to plant, probably. We'll probably get going on a farm here at some point because we've got water close by. Oh, we're going to need, you know what we need first? We need food. So, let's see if we can make ourselves a furnace. We'll have to get some wood that we can turn into charcoal. Uh, so, furnace totally needs to be a thing. Yep, there we go. Uh, so, furnace is totally a thing. Now, uh, we can put him... I say we put him right here. Let's put him right here. Cool. Put that like so. Put that in there. We need... Need more wood. I need an axe. Can I make an axe? I can totally make an axe. That. This. And totally make an axe? Sure. There we go. So that gives us the axe, which we will need real quick. Go over here and get ourselves actually. Can we do this? Can we just make one of these with a stick or two? I don't know. Um, or just two of those. That should totally cook up. Uh, but we can go over here and we can grab some trees. Plant, Actually, you know what? Let's just plant some trees right here. Boom, boom. Yeah, we'll get those planted. Over here, grab some more wood that we can turn into charcoal. And then we should be in a position where we can actually do something. Because right now, our motion is severely lacking because of no food. Right? Right. Okay, so to-do list items. Going to need... Food farm, going to need tree farm. Those are totally things that need to happen. Uh, did I get more saplings? I did. Wow. Big time lag spikes again. I think I am going to have to put this on a server because something is just not, something's not cool about this, but that's fine. I can, I have the, I have the wherewithal to be able to do that. Um, oh, so slow. Get in here. There we go. So we got ourselves a pork chop. Cool. Let's eat that and... Actually, it's not really a pork chop. It's more like cooked mutton, but that gives us some some, some good stuff. Uh, go ahead and give me one of those, please. Thank you very much. That should... We should be able to smelt that down with one, right? Yeah, that'll totally go. That will totally go. That gives us one of those. Let's put that in there like that. Let's get those cooked up. Um, can I get... Wow, oh, big lag spikes again. Can I get some more wood... Should be able to get some more wood before that burns out. There's a couple more birch trees over here, so oh, and a birch sapling. <laughs> I don't mind using birch for 
charcoal because it's not my favorite wood to build with. Um, I do like birch for the floors, but we might try something different this go around. I mean, because, I mean, you guys are probably tired of seeing me do birch floors all the time. Uh, typical dire wolf fashion, we probably will put up some nine by some nine by nine structures. We'll see how that goes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. That should be good. Let's go back here and see if we can get this in before, before our charcoal burns away. Because I want to use that, I want to use up as much of it as possible think and actually I don't even have to go inside to do that I can just go right here yay cool all right so that'll get us a full eight pieces of charcoal which we can use to make some uh, some some uh, some torches we can also do some other stuff with it and uh, we also need to figure out where we're gonna go mining um, so let's talk about places let's talk about spaces I think right here obviously is the very first place that we're going to need to be so why don't we go ahead and clear out a space clear out a mine uh, going this way yeah i think probably going probably going this way will probably be the best what's our elevation right here 93 it's going to take us a while to get down to uh down to the depths of the world uh at this rate let's go ahead and um let's go ahead and make us some more food um oh can we make is tiny charcoal a thing yeah tiny charcoal is a thing do one of those tiny charcoal is cool because uh one piece of tiny charcoal cooks one item so we'll only use four of these right and we won't be wasting everything so that's cool we'll do that for now um let's go ahead and get a shovel shovel's totally got to be a thing so boom shovel please thank you Probably need to make a chest. Uh, actually, yes, a chest does need to be a thing. Uh, let's make a double chest. There we go. Oh, and it's even a birch chest. How about that? That's cool. Uh, we got our actually addition stuff. Uh, we'll put the double chest here, I suppose. Yeah, we'll put our bed over here, maybe. Bed there, sure, that sounds good. There's our there's our cooked mutton, which will help sustain us and keep us from death, for a little bit anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and p drop off some of this stuff in here that we don't need. Uh, but we will need, let's see, we will need the sword, we will need the axe probably, we'll need the shovel. Do we have a pickaxe? We have a wooden pickaxe, so we're going to have to upgrade that as soon as we can. Uh, Tinkers is in here, so we'll probably totally do some Tinker stuff. We're going to need some porches so let's go ahead and make some of those and do we have any more wood yeah let's get uh, one two three four let's get four of those uh, make some sticks 16 16 uh, well I guess I didn't really need 16 because I only have seven charcoal let's do four that'll give us 16 torches at least for now Hopefully we'll find some coal. I'm going to go ahead and start digging down right about uh, right about here, I guess. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get a mine started, and I'll come back to you in just a few minutes. Aha! The object of which I desired to find. Iron ore. Need some iron ore because I want to make a bucket. Uh, I want to smelt down some of this, make a bucket, so that we can at least get a farm going in today's episode. Um, it's not going to be a fancy farm, but at least want to get some iron, or not some iron. <laughs> well, I mean, get an iron right now. Uh, but I want to get some, uh, want to get some iron so that I can get some water, so that I can get a, a decent farm going for like wheat and and maybe some of this other stuff that we're finding from Pam's, um, because you know, like I said, I've never really done anything with Pam's Harvest Craft. So if you guys are experienced with that and can tell me some stuff that we some cool stuff that we could do with that mod, I would love to hear about it. Um, so let's go ahead and get this smelted up and uh, and when I come back, uh, give me three of those. Sure. When I come back, I'll have a farm laid out and we'll and we'll get some stuff planted and that'll probably just about wrap up the first episode. Okay, so we've acquired some hardware. We got some iron. I'm also smelting up the copper because there's something else that I want to make too. So in order to do this, I'm going to need to make two buckets. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two buckets, right? The other copper that I want is going to be used to make a watering can. That way we can grow our stuff faster. So if we get six, I'm sorry, four 
uh, copper ingots around a water bucket. That gives us the first tier of watering can from thermal cultivation. I've never done that before, and we just happened to get four copper ingots, and I don't need it for any kind of machinery or anything yet, so might as well do something that's going to be beneficial to us. So give me one of these, and give me uh, one, two, three, four of these, and that gives us a copper watering can. How about that? So let's grab some water. Um, yeah, yep, that'll work. Uh, let's come right over here and let's go ahead and grab ourselves a space to put said water. That'll work. Uh, oh, we need a we need a tool. We need something to cultivate that that land. So we got some sticks here. I guess we just need a hoe, right? So boom. Nope, that's not that's not how you do that. Put it there. There we go. So let's grab that. Let's grab that. Uh, and there we go. Definitely getting some lag spikes off of this, but we can come out four here, right? Oh, we get worms too. <gasps> oh, worms are amazing. Okay, worms help out a lot because worms will... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Worms help out a lot because worms will help to keep your soil <clears throat> totally saturated. Two, three, four. Fill all this in like so. Cool, cool, cool. Very cool. Finish getting this all tilled up. And we'll go ahead and plant some stuff. Oh, good. More, more of those. Awesome. There we go. Now, let's grab some seeds. Which I should have some seeds in here. We got... Uh, what do we have? We've got okra. Might as well plant that, I guess. Tomato seeds, sure. Regular seeds, regular seeds. What, uh, that was chili peppers. Hmm, but that's from Rustic. Eh, what the heck, we'll plant it anyway. Rice seeds, definitely need to plant those. Uh, artichokes, I think we can plant those, right? Spinach, or spice leaf, I don't know if we can plant that or not. Um, hmm. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, didn't mean to cough in your ear like that. Hey, open the chest. Come on, Mod. Open the chest. There we go. Barley. I think barley was something else that we needed too, right? Does that turn into seeds? No, that turns into barley flour. We don't have barley seeds. Okay. Well, that's fine. Ooh, almost nighttime. Uh, let's take these three seeds that we've got here, and I guess we'll just put those right along this way. Boom and boom. Oh, a seedy place. Got another advancement. We're getting advancements all over the place. Uh, let's go one... Oh, these don't plant here. No, they don't plant. Uh, that's that's a bummer. Okay, what about okra? Does that turn into seeds? Okra seed. Plant that. Cool. Let's go take a nap. Wakey, wakey, wakey. There we go. Take a nap. And what else do we got? We've got chili pepper seeds, so that's totally a thing. I guess we'll go ahead and plant that right... Oh, it doesn't plant on... It doesn't plant. Must be a special place that we have to plant that rustic stuff, because that's rustic too. That turns into barley flour. Can you just plant barley? Yes, you can plant barley. Okay, so that's cool. And then artichokes. Artichoke seed? Artichoke seed. Totally. Um, I guess we'll put that right over there. Where is my watering can? Come over here and we'll fill it up with water. Maybe. Or maybe not. Shift for details. Irrigates farmlands. Uh, water may be collected while sneaking. Aha! There we go. And get out of here. Cool. So now we should be able to come over here and totally water our plants. Oh, baby, that's awesome. So we're food. Food should not be an issue for us, at least not anytime real soon. Plus, oh, plus we've got the, plus we've got the clicky, clicky harvest thing. I love it. I love it to pieces. Oh, that's so great. Grow. Grow. Grow, please. Yeah. What about other than this? You gonna grow? Can I water you? I can't water you. Oh, I'm out of water. <laughs> Let's go grab some more water, see if we can water the Pam stuff, which we should be able to. Okay. And the cool thing is, is that this can be upgraded, right? So we can keep getting bigger and bigger areas and hold more and more water, and that's pretty awesome. Uh, 33%. Doesn't seem to be helping, does it? 66%. Oh, there it goes. Got some. Oh, and I wanted to plant, I totally wanted to plant uh, rice. So let's go ahead and put some rice over, let's put rice over here. 
Boop, 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 boop. Cool. And this should grow also. So, yeah. There we go. So now we can use this to, we, to make all kinds of food, which is going to be very, very cool. Folks, thank you so much for watching. Whoop. At light level overlays. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below, and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff. We will chat about it in kind. Uh, also, we have a Discord server for those of you that are not that are not normal followers. We got a Discord server that we can chat on. So the link for that will be down in the description, and uh, you can stop by. And there are certain places that all of my YouTube fa family is uh, allowed to go to. So stop on by, and we can chat there as well. But if you like this series uh, and want to see more, then uh, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe. But until next time, folks, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye bye. A very special thanks to my Patreon support staff. If you'd like to become a Patreon patron, visit my page at www.patreon.com slash rb underscore plays to find out more details.